you for being so kind to answer my questions about the road gifts from PWRDF. Thank you, Theo, for inviting me. It's great to be a part of your interview. What do you do at PWRDF? I'm what's called a development program coordinator, and I'm part of the development team. So I liaise directly with our partners and um, talk about the projects we're doing, review their budgets, the reports, their proposals. So I get to, um, to be in contact directly with the partners. And sometimes I even get to visit the, pro the partners. So earlier this year, I was in Malawi for part of the goat seed project. So I think they're a pretty awesome partner. That's really cool. In the world of gifts, there are animals that people can buy. If I buy a goat, is the goat real? Yes, the goat is definitely real. It will be a female goat because the female goats produce the, the little kids. Where does the animal come from? Are they Canadian? No, we don't actually ship animals from Canada to our partners or to the communities where we work. We buy the goats locally because they're used to the environment and the climate, so it would be a real shock for them. How does an animal like a goat help people? Well, for starters, goats are pretty good at reproducing. I think most goats can have two litters of kids each year, and each goat can produce one or two kids, uh, just depending on how that goes. And in Malawi, um, it's very popular to raise goats and sell goats, and they're mostly used for meat in, in Malawi. Are animals really what the community needs or is there something else I can do? Well, this is a need that the community members have identified themselves. They're actually going to be going to the community health workers that uh, support Partners in Health. And they said that to help supplement the stipend they get from Partners in Health, because they do a lot of work every week, they specifically asked for goats because it's very common um, in Malawi to raise goats and it provides them with supplemental income. Okay. How are people chosen to receive the animals? Do people feel left out or jealous? Yeah, that's a great question to ask. Um, in this situation, they are going directly to the community health workers. So this is a select group of more than 1,200 um, community health workers, mostly women, but some men as well. And um, it's really to compensate them for all the time they dedicate to their work. So they get a bit of a stipend, which is less than $30 a month um, in Canadian dollars, but they're spending say four to five days per week, every week doing their work. So um, it's a supplement. And I think there's a lot of respect for the community health workers in their communities. So I don't think there'll be too much jealousy uh, when, when their fellow community members know what the goats are for and that it's to augment um, the work that they do. What happens to the kids? So that's up to the community health workers. Most of them will, will breed their goats. Some of the community health workers will receive goats directly from the project that are bought in the communities. But when they're a good age and healthy, nine months, um, they'll be handing over goats to their fellow community health workers. So okay. there is a passing on the gift component, and that will ensure that every single community health worker in Neno District gets a, um, gets a goat. Do people get to see the animal that they bought? That's really hard because <laughs> there are a lot of goats wandering around a uh, Neno district and we don't usually um, um, take photographs of everybody receiving every single goat. But I know our partner, Partners in Health, they do take lots of photos and they share them. But so we'll do our best to take photos of the goats. Is my goat loved? Yes, absolutely. Uh, goats are very valuable in Malawi and um, because of all of the work the community health workers are doing, um, they definitely value anything that they get. And because they requested the goats themselves, I, I'm, I'm very certain that the goats will be well taken care of. 
the community health workers will be attending special training to learn how to take care of their goats and they'll be building special goat structures for the goats to spend the night in so that they're not vulnerable to wild animals and they will also learn what food or what special diet the goats require so what grasses they can eat they'll be training animal health workers as well and they will treat the goats so if they get an injury or if there's a virus or anything like that they'll have a medicine box that they can treat the goats with thank you for allowing me to ask you questions. I was very ha happy to answer all your questions.